Now the next question says three identical particles each of mass m are fixed to the corners of a right angled isosceles triangle by means of massless rods. I think that means these are the three rods forming an isosceles triangle and these are the point masses placed at the three corners of the rods. Now further the question says if the length of each of the two sides is x which I guess is this then the moment of inertia of the system along an axis coinciding with the hypotenuse of the triangle which means they try to say the axis is this and that means for both this particle the moment of inertia will be zero because they lie on the axis so the perpendicular distance for those masses from the axis of rotation would be zero and that means the moment of inertia will be only for this mass and that perpendicular distance will be this so let's call this as A. Now we know this is a right angle triangle and that means if I draw this line this is going to be the angle bisector which means this is going to be 45 and since this is perpendicular over here this also becomes 45 which means these two sides are equal as A. Now if I apply Pythagoras theorem for this triangle I can say A square plus A square is equal to X square. That means 2a square is equal to x square. That is root 2a is equal to x. And so a is nothing but x by root 2. Now moment of inertia by formula is ma square. Mass of the particle into the square of the perpendicular distance of that particle from the axis of rotation. And we know a is nothing but x by root 2. The square of which will be x square by 2. And so the final answer will be half m x square.